Hello everybody and welcome back to SnowRunner. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are going to uh, get this party started where we should have been able to in the last video, but I'm a dummy. We do have our saddle slash five wheel slash or fifth wheel slash whatever you want to call it, trailer hitch. And uh, we're going to be able to finally get these parts over to the, uh, the farm where they need them. So uh, without further ado, let's get this party started. Try not to take out anybody's fences or anything. And rather than, uh, oh God. It's a foggy morning, that's for sure. Hello? What have we done? Thought we could pull out. Oh, we needed to turn back there, didn't we? Easy there, trailer. Oh, nope, 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 nope. We're not trying to back it around the corner. Come on now. Let's try this. The correct way, shall we? I blame the steering in this game. It's totally not me being terrible at backing trailers. But at least I have a chance with these trailers rather than those darn, uh, like, trailers pivoting. Oh, come on. I say that and I immediately screw this up. All right, we're gonna have to cut her in. There we go, good job. All right, rather than deal with that, we're gonna swing left. Oh my God, this thing can't turn. Why is the turning so bad in this truck? Like the turning in this truck is horrendous. I don't know what it's uh, supposed to be in trucks, but, uh-oh. Something tells me these streets are just not meant for trucks. Those of you out there that, uh, yeah, there goes another garbage can. At least it was just a garbage can. Those of you out there that drive trucks probably know what I'm talking about when it comes to cities and, and towns not being truck worthy. <laughs> oh, well, we got up on the curb a little bit there, but we did all right. Well done. We're learning. No, we're not. Just get lucky. All right, so now that we're out on the road, out away from everything that we could possibly screw up, we're going to make our way back to uh, the farm to deliver the goods. Been a heck of a run for us. Uh, might as well swing in and get some... Get some fuel. 66 liters of fuel. Now, a couple of you mentioned that I need to put this thing in four-wheel drive. Actually, this truck is always all-wheel drive. Uh, maybe you were referring to the other truck. But yeah, this one is definitely always all-wheel drive. So we've got a heck of a load here, but I think our truck can. Woo! Quit screw it up, Spartan. I think our truck can handle it, no problem. Now I know a few of you guys mentioned that there is a uh, truck right next to our garage up there that we can uh, check out as well. And uh, I know we unlocked it. I don't think we ever actually used it. Actually, I know we never used it. So uh, let's try to swing in here, dive in deep, cut the corner. There we go. Don't hit the wall. God, it's so so difficult to drive in third person. <laughs> because it seems like the front wheels just go everywhere. Whereas when we're inside the the, the cabin, we don't have that truck. Like, it just seems like when you're out in third person, the wheels just go crazy. We're just 
gonna take her easy. No reason to get too crazy and lose our load. Good Lord, we know that the last, literally everything that could go wrong in the last video went wrong. So we're gonna try to avoid that as best we can this time. Emphasis on try. There we go. We got her all straightened up. There's that nasty bump. That, that's a hole right there. Speaking of which, I'm on truck. You can do it. I have faith. Hopefully this farmer pays us well, man. We we definitely deserve it after all the hassle we've been through. Of course, probably deduct most of my paycheck for uh, repairs to his, his farm after the mess that I caused in the last episode. We're going to slow down a little bit. Like I said, no need to rush and get ourselves into trouble. And then we're going to try to turn in here. Beautiful turn. Didn't even hit the telephone pole this time. We're gonna pull up right, right next to uh, their platform so we can unload it here. Go ahead and pull her a little further. There we go. Look at that. All right, fellas, go ahead and unload her. <laughs> Unload. Oh no! This isn't for this? Dag nabbit. What are we hauling? We've got to be the dumbest truck driver ever. I work in shipping and receiving. I'm used to uh, some pretty iffy drivers from time to time, but. If I ever have a driver come in as dumb as me. <laughs> uh, who am I kidding? I've had dri drivers come in that are way dumber than I am. Uh, this ought to be a fun turn with the trailer. Look at this. This truck just does not want to turn. completely jack I just want to give ourselves a little bit more room okay well I guess we'll take this up to the garage and drop it that way we know where it's at really starting to regret life choices I don't know what we're hauling, but it's not what we need. Come on, truck. Water over the road, you don't say. I will say, it does feel pretty good to like haul an actual trailer with this thing. Even if it was the wrong thing for what we actually thought we were bringing it in for. That might have been our best corner yet.
probably ought to. Yeah. I was gonna say we probably ought to pay attention to what we're doing, huh? All right. Let's see if we can hit the dock. We're gonna go for G4. center this may not bug some or this may not like be like a problem for some of you guys but as somebody who works in shipping and receiving I can assure you let's see we want to go this way the getting the the truck to line up with the door is very important as I screw it up again. Good God! Alright, we're not gonna we're not gonna screw it up this time. Just straight out. Hello? There we go. These are back. Come on, truck. Quit fish tailing on me. Beautiful. And go on deck. All right, let's go ahead and drop our trailer. I love how the landing gear come down too. That's pretty sweet. All right, so now we have that trailer successfully out of the way. We do have this truck here. Go ahead and move. Actually, we got this thing here. It's out of fuel. Son of a. Seriously. All right, so we're gonna take it out of uh, the Navistar. Just enough that we can start the truck. The engine is broken. Son of a... All right. Two can play this game. I know what I need to do. Maybe. All right, so let's see. Leave garage. We need to go to the trailer store, don't we? Wait a second. What is that? Service trailer. I think I, uh, I know what we got to do here, guys. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and, uh, back her up to the old service trailer here. Hello? A little bit of a delay there. Okay, screw it. Attach trailer. And now... Repair. The Fleet Star. All. Oh. There we go. Nice. 
Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's one of those. Yep, that looks like about a good place for it. We'll go ahead and just drop that there. <laughs> out of the way I'm sure it'll stop before it hits the building all right now let's try this again shall we not just put 60 liters in this thing somehow we lost 60 liters all right I actually like the sound of this Can't rev it up. It's a shame. All right, stop engine. Change truck. We're gonna go ahead and put the Navistar back in the old uh, garage. Go here, and then well, shoot. this is the part of this game where you just got you get like a little frustrated I know I've picked that truck up why it's not in my menu to like grab so that I don't just leave this sitting outside is beyond me I like to park my trucks inside is it too wrong Ooh, that's the truck dummy don't crash into it you just fixed it all right let's try this again stop no stop trailer or stop truck change truck there we go now let's go ahead and back this thing into the old garage here there we go now we customize engageable all-wheel drive There we go. So now we have all-wheel drive here. Can we do anything else with this? Nope, doesn't look like it. We already have the engageable diff lock. You can actually put a snorkel on it. It's pretty cool. But we don't need that at the moment. Frame add-ons. What do we want for this thing? We could do a flatbed. Maintenance. Sideboard bed. We already have one of those. A loading crane would come in handy. I think we'll go ahead and do that. All right.
Now we have a loader, or we have a crane for loading, and we have our fifth wheel on there. Let's go ahead and leave the garage. And now we have the ability to put this thing in all-wheel drive, and we have diff lock on it. Uh, let's get us a trailer. If I can even afford a trailer. We're going to try. We got a flatbed semi. It's expensive. Flatbed trailer. Sideboard trailer. Ramped flatbed. This stuff's expensive. That looks awesome, though. Um, darn it. We don't have enough money for the flatbed semi trailer. Uh, okay. Well, shucks. Eek. Let's try this again. Since we can't get a uh, flatbed trailer, maybe there is, instead of... If we unhook that, we can put a flatbed on there for carrying cargo. Um, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. I feel like it. Now let's leave garage. All right, so now we got a flatbed truck with a crane. Every Mason's uh, dream, right? Speaking of Mason's, we got to go pick up some bricks. I like the horn, too manly ah oh, we don't have the logging cage <laughs> that's so nice don't get me wrong that uh, yeah we're just cutting across here don't mind us ah right like I said I can drive straight truck I don't mind driving straight truck but uh, we need to go pick up some uh, planks wooden planks and bricks so I figure we'll stop by the lumber mill first That was dangerous water level that quick? No. This truck can handle more than that, surely. Surely you can't be... You're really going to make me engage all-wheel drive? Go. I don't need diff lock yet. Right? <laughs> I'll say this, the uh, automatic transmission in this thing isn't the greatest. <laughs> Give me a manual. We actually have a high gear? No. Come on, baby. Now, the good thing about being able to switch off of all-wheel drive is that you'll be able to save fuel. You can leave the all-wheel drive on as long as you want, really, but being able to swap off. See, right now we're getting, what, 8.2 liters per minute consumption. And if we switch that off, we drop all the way down to 4.5. So we save almost, you know, we're getting almost double the fuel mileage. Not quite, but close. And we'll go ahead and pop her back in here. This is that pump. Go. That way we can maintain here. Try to stay out of our ruts. Uh, I say that and I immediately end up in the rut. Heading for the tree. Come on there, driver. Good lord. Get yourself under control, sir. All right. Said it before, I'll say it again. The steering is a little wonky in this game, but, uh, this thing apparently has better steering than the uh, truck that we were just in, because 
That thing was uh, not wanting to turn at all, and this thing wants to turn all. <laughs> Makes sense. I can kick her out of all wheel drive. For now. But we're going to go down to the uh, lumber mill and get some planks. And we're going to test out the manual loading, guys. Won't that be fun? Watching me suffer through trying to figure out how to use the crane again. Sounds like fun, right? Easy there, truck. Good God. Yeah, this thing doesn't have any trouble turning. That's for sure. All right, we're gonna go ahead and kick on the all-wheel drive. We go on mud. Oop, there goes that sign again. I'm sure they won't mind. Everybody knows where the lumber mill is around here. Because I know where it's at, and I'm everybody. I think it's cool that you, you start learning the maps and stuff and you, you quickly get yourself into a, a rhythm of where you need to go and where to pick up stuff. Oh my God, I need some better suspension, that's for sure. Hopefully this ain't dangerous water levels. Oh, it definitely is, but we're fine. Only for a second, it'll be good. the bumps in this truck this truck just plows into the mud it just it needs suspension upgraded for sure either that or I need to stop driving like a jackass <laughs> that could be a, a thing too not that I would say that I'm driving like a jackass of course dare say that all right so we are going to go over this side because this should be where the manual loading is. Oh look, a trailer that's already got planks on it. are going to restore the crane. There we go. Probably should uh Oh, uh, where is it? Okay, put our anchors down, how about that? All right, cargo management. What if I, what if I wanna load it? Manual loading, there we go. All right, now we're talking. Let's get into the crane mode. And then we want to uh, see move the crane out, rotate her over. We want to uh, lower it down. And how do we grab? Okay. There we go. Got it. All right, so now we want to lift. This is sick. This takes time to learn. That's all. Uh, 
All right, we want to lower. Bring the crane in. Oh, too far, too far. There we go. All right, rotate the cargo. Wrong way. There we go. All right. Now, if we release, restore. And then pack cargo. All right, that looks like we could get another one. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're learning. Restore the, or get into crane mode. We want to use our anchors. Let's see how quick we can do this now. All right, now we want to attach cargo, lift up. Oh, lift up. Rotate, and then we want to... Cargo, rotate back for me, but there we go. We want to lower her down a little further, then we want to raise up. Come on, turn the cargo. do it. Other way. Come on. Come on! <laughs> I know what I'm doing, slightly.
<gasps> I think I got it. Detach cargo. Restore crane. Um, somehow. Bring those back in. Restore crane. There we go. All right. Just in time for it to get dark. I should probably go out this side since it's closest. All right. We'll have to be a little bit more careful because we now have cargo. Sorry it took so long, guys, but I, I got to get used to it. As somebody who likes playing the hardcore mode back in the uh, Mud Runner, I like to uh, load my own stuff. Now we got to be careful. These ruts are pretty nasty. We felt them coming in, and now that we've got a load, they shouldn't be as bad because we have a load. But we also are more prone to tipping, so we don't want that to happen. Easy there, truck. This thing sounds like it's gasoline powered. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, uh, if you're in a big truck, like especially straight trucks, they are literally built to have a load on them. So when they're not loaded, the, they're extremely difficult to drive. Well, not so much drive, but like just difficult for long trips because every little bump just beats the crap out of you because they have such stiff suspension. But uh, once you're loaded, it's like driving a Cadillac, man actually doesn't feel too bad but when you're unloaded man it just beats the crap out of you easy don't be tipping the truck making things happen. This thing does turn really well. We've got two times wooden planks and we still need one more brick. Yeah, I know I left it in all wheel drive, but. We're gonna need it. Easy there, truck. This truck's steering is really, really aggressive compared to the old, the other truck. The other truck is like, I don't want to steer. And this truck is like, I got all of the steering. If they could just like give a little bit to the other truck, then this thing would be uh, perfect. Take a little out of this, put it in the other. And you can see, we don't really need the diff lock. Like all wheel drive, we're not in the, the soupy stuff. So we've got her pretty much made. Hey, dummy, you missed the, the driveway. You should probably do that. Luckily, we're a straight truck. We don't have to worry about it. We just back up and go. <laughs> Best part of driving a straight truck, man. No trailer.
I think this thing with better suspension and better tires would be absolutely amazing. Though the fuel consumption is a little poor, <laughs> if we're honest. All right, we made it. We're gonna go ahead and uh, go into crane. We're gonna put our legs down, rotate over. All right, attach cargo. Oh. We forgot to unpack the cargo. Got to unstrap it first, dummy. Now we should be able to uh, attach cargo and winch it up. All right, there we go. And we're just going to... Uh, Oh, we gotta go higher than that. Oh, wrong way. Just tearing everybody's stuff up. This guy's gotta hate us by the time this is over. All right, and lower, detach. Attach. I want to winch it up. And we just want to swing her right over there. Beautiful. All right. All right. Guys. What happened to our wood? This guy stole our wood. Oh, we are in the swamp, too. We are stuck. Guess it's time to put the diff lock on, huh? Oh, we got to uh, go into low. And then we can put our diff lock on. Well, shoot.
we are well and truly buried, guys. <laughs> so, I guess it's time to, uh, I mean, is there a place to winch? got herself out. I don't know what we winched to, but something winched us. Otherwise, we'd be stuck. So, I think we just hit a glitch, or maybe we were supposed to, uh, do this differently. But I feel like we just got robbed. <laughs> That's not cool, man. I think what we should have done is we should have went into cargo management first, uh, and then manual unload. I'm, a I'm sure that was a thing. So, uh, I'll be honest with you, I'll probably cut until we get back to the lumber mill so that we can do this again. It's kind of kind of frustrating. But all a part of learning, I guess. We're definitely going to have to stop for fuel, though, on our way over. Or at least on our way back, anyway. Darn it. Well, you live and learn. No reason crying over spilled milk or stolen planks. I just, at some point, I don't think I'm ever going to get off of this mission. <laughs> this one mission is just ruining me. It's supposed to be easy. Just took some more damage. Just feel like we're stuck. Not literally, but figuratively. So apparently, when you're uh, unloading manually, you need to tell them that you're unloading manually. Or maybe you just don't unload manually. Maybe you just unload it automatically, but I, f I figure you could probably unload manually. I just assumed that we pull into the circle and then unload it and put it on the dock and it'd be counted, but apparently I was wrong. <laughs> uh, just when you think you know what you're doing, in true mud runner and spin tires fashion, it just kicks you right in the junk. <laughs> uh, all right. Coming out, we'll go out the other way so that we can stop. God bless America. Forgot about that. We'll go out the other way so that we can end up, good God, going to the uh, gas station or the fuel station. But the water does look amazing, though, in this game. Like, in the other one, it was kind of off. It was always, like, uh, really fake looking. This looks much better. Come on. Yeah, this truck does not like bumps when it's empty. My mechanic's not going to like me after he gets the uh, truck back and has to beat the oil pan back out of it. <laughs> Just pull the oil pan and replace it at that point. Owie! Always one more bump. Alright. Let's try this again, shall we? At 
least we know how to load now. <laughs> but to save you guys the, uh... The length of time it takes me to load things. We'll just go ahead and auto-load these since we already did it once. Uh, and then we'll pull out over here. Truck. I swear to God, if you tip over on me right now, I will lose my crap. But yeah, we'll come out up here by the town, and then we should be just like turn left onto the main road and right next to the fuel station. This old truck drinks the fuel. Especially when you run it nothing but all-wheel drive. So this is the town where we got our flatbed trailer earlier that we didn't need. <laughs> and then we'll make a left up here at the intersection. Make another left. Try not to take out any signs or mailboxes people's cars. I feel like these streets are a little smaller than they would be in real life too. <laughs> Alright. We're making progress guys, I think. <laughs> Now, I still want to unload them manually, so we'll see what we got to do to do that. Because I'm sure there's a way to unload them manually. I'm sure of it. Pull in here and get some fuel. this again shall we at least it's not a very long trip <laughs> like we know where we're going Good Lord knows we've done this enough I think we've in a, a trip or a, a, a challenge that was supposed to be or a contract that was supposed to be done and no more than like three loads We've taken, what, eight? <laughs> We've taken the wrong thing there like four times. We've uh, lost our planks. That looks like it's going to hurt if I hit that, so let's slow down a little bit. Hey, we got fuel on this side of the, the thing, too. I think the next episode, we're just going to try to do some scouting. Let me know if you guys want to see that in the comments below. Let me know. Because, uh,. I do want to go around and open up all the places so we might spend a little bit of time grinding some cash and upgrade our uh, Chevy truck or maybe get a different truck, maybe the Scout or something, if we can afford it. Oh, I forgot about the dip. Forgot about putting it in all-wheel drive, too. Come on, truck. There we go. 
I'm just going to leave it in all-wheel drive because as soon as we go across this little section here, we've got to turn left into the farm anyway. Only bad thing is we've got to pull down into this soupy stuff just to, I think I'll try to stay on this side. Alright. Cargo management. We have that. Okay, so you cannot unload manually, apparently. Good to know. So that's taken care of, and now the only thing that we need is one more uh, thing of bricks. Now where do we get the bricks? We are going to finish this mission today. Got a warehouse right over there. Is that the only place we can get bricks? Yep, so it looks like we're going to a new section of the map. Nice. All right. Well, with that being said, let's do it. And because we didn't get down to the soupy stuff, we didn't get stuck. I'm going to cut through here. So you can load manually, but you can't unload manually, it looks like. It's good to know. Will not make that mistake again. Hopefully. <laughs> Though, if the devs are watching, which I doubt that they are, uh, but if you are, maybe uh, make that a thing. I would like to unload manually as well. I mean, you load them manually, why can't you unload them manually? Make it happen! Oh god. You have got to be joking. Seriously. Not sure why we got stuck all of a sudden, but that was weird. Almost like we high centered. All right, so we're going to pass our garage and go up around the corner. This looks like fun. Growing up, baby. This truck eats it for breakfast. Oh God, I spoke too soon. We 
We do not have good tires for this. This just goes to show you, all-wheel drive and diff lock only get you so far. You need some tires. <laughs> Good God. Oh God, what is, what is happening? I'm on truck. I love how the game is like, he's stuck. I'm not stuck yet. Working on it though. God, man, how are you supposed to get through this? Just sheer trying, like just keep keep going. Well, we're out of some of the water. Starting to get on better ground. That's the camp. Where are we going? Dude, we are so far away from it. Come on, baby. We've come this far. We are not going to screw it up now. Yet. <laughs> Good lord, this is a truck, man. Good thing we put all-wheel drive and we got diff lock. And a winch. Just need everything to get through this path. Michigan, fix your roads. <laughs> How bad of a flood does it take to freaking make this much of a mudslide? Live in Ohio, we have some floods, don't get me wrong, especially where I live. But good God. I'm on truck. I know I took you out of all wheel drive, but I'm trying to conserve a little bit of fuel. Going down shouldn't be as bad as coming up, but good God, you have got to be joking. Let everybody know where I'm at, because God, God knows we're about to be stuck. I'm gonna try to avoid the worst of it, if I can.
You have got to be kidding me. There we go. I think we got hung up on that dead tree. That caused us a bunch of grief. Come on, truck. How deep does it get? Good Lord. I knowed I was going boat and I would have brought a boat. <laughs> been a hell of a mud bog. You'd think going uphill the mud would get less. <laughs> it's generally how that works, right? All the water goes downhill. Man, these, bu these better be some good bricks. <laughs> good Lord. There better be a fuel station over there too. this is a sign saying camp to my left, then uh, I think next time I'm just going to go to the camp. Surely that road can't be as bad as what we just drove on. Good lord. Better be fuel here. Oh, there is. Good lord. Somebody looking out for us. Oh, we can't use their fuel? Come on! Well, <laughs> oh, that sucks. We 
just need one brick. So we got bricks. All right. We are going to go to crane mode, put out our thing, rotate it around to the right side. Attach cargo, so we want to lift up the cargo. Swing her back around. Right. Normally you wouldn't drop that. <laughs> uh, that could have been bad. All right. So now we want to pack cargo. There we go. And off to the races. And knowing what we know now, see the factory is that way. You guys see what I see? I see a shortcut. In fact, I'm going to ping it on the map so that I don't miss it. Because we are not going all the way around this mountain again. This through here cannot be as bad as what we just went through. Might be a little narrow, might be a little bumpy, but it's not a frickin' swamp. And we have a little bit more weight on the back too, so we should have better, better grip. So. It's been a bit of a uh, long episode, I know that, but I, I wanted to make up for my uh, shortcomings <laughs> and get you guys this finished contract finally you guys can see my struggles but I will say this this is where having a partner comes in handy so uh, I'm gonna probably end up trying to get a hold of my buddy Swive and see if he wants to join me for some multiplayer if you guys are looking forward to that uh, let me know in the comments below you guys know the deal by now and uh, if you want to see me play with other people try to make it a thing. No guarantees, but you know how it is. It's hard to get people together sometimes. Basically, the only reason I haven't tried to get with Swive so far is... Easy, truck. Easy. There you go. Oh, God. We still gotta go through this. Well, it's better than going through all of what we did go through. We're gonna try to stick to the high side here. Definitely don't want this thing to suck us down into the bottom. Stick to the high stuff. There you go. Watch the pole. Beautiful.
Now we're cooking with gas. I noticed there was another sign for farm right up here. So uh, I think we might check and see what it's like to go that way. But it feels like a terrible idea. But we do this, we'll be done with the episode. So might as well check it out, right? Now, which way to the farm? Neither, really. But if we go to the right, that'll take us up and around. All right. Get to explore news. Oh, God darn it. Why did I know this was going to be a thing? I knew it was too good to be true. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Not as good as I thought it was going to be either. Good, it's raining. <laughs> Just how we wanted to end the day, right? Work our tails off all this time, and just about the time we're going to get off work, it starts raining. It's too close to realistic. <laughs> Going to ease our way through here. We could probably take our diff lock off now. Put her in auto. There's a bump. All right, so we found a new way to the farm and I think we'll stick to the old way. If I'm honest. Well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I know this is a bit of a longer episode. I apologize. But, uh, you know, you live and learn. It's the only way I learn is the hard way, right? So, uh, might as well have fun while doing it anyway. Go ahead and unload. Hey, we finished. <laughs> we finished our our contract finally and got thirty-eight hundred dollars for it. Uh, doesn't feel like we got enough out of that, <laughs> but uh, you know, it happens. Try to get up out of this mud. There we go. We can turn our diff lock off, put this thing back over here, probably turn the all-wheel drive off. And we'll head back up to the garage and call it a day. But uh, either way, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I, I do uh, appreciate you guys watching. I like playing other things other than just ships or tanks, so it's kind of nice getting out here and uh, doing something different. Plus, it's fun. I enjoy it. I enjoyed Spin Tires Mud Runner. But uh, 
it just got too repetitive doing the exact same task over and over again. At least this time, we've got different places that we're going to. We've got all the different contracts, all the different load types. There's so much that you got to do in this game. And we're just scratching the surface. So hopefully you guys come, keep coming back for more. I forgot we weren't in automatic or all wheel drive. Come on, trucker. Can't be struggling here after all the other crap you, you've been through today. Oh, God! Why? Why does it just suddenly decide that it needs to go like 180 degrees the other direction? Stop it. We're too close. Too close to the end for this. Coming in hot. All righty. We we're able to fuel up and uh, repair the truck. And if you guys have made it through this far of the video, I appreciate you. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below whether you want me to uh, see if I can get a hold of Swive or something for some multiplayer. And uh, if you're looking out for a scout video next one, we'll run the scout. So uh, make sure you guys let me know. And as always, I will see you in the next video.